Hi, this is a video where I am going to try to teach you how to 180 on a BMX bike. So, um, basically the, what you need to be able to do is fakey rollout already um, and bunny hop about I'd say wheel height. Um, so basically there's two ways of doing it. Uh, you can either just do it straight bunny hop, flat ground or uh, use ramps at a skate park. So personally I learned it straight flat ground. Um, it took me about one year. That's fucking long. Um, I know other people, especially on the internet, say they learn it in like fucking two weeks after they fucking got their new bike and shit, but it's most likely bullshit. Um, yeah, so yeah, it took me one year. Um, the easiest way to get the rotation would probably be out of a ramp, out of a quarter pipe, maybe four or five feet. Um, it basically, that's because you get more air. And more air means more time, so you have more time to rotate. But then, that being said, it's also scarier because you go higher. Um, so it all depends on what you're comfortable with. If you're scared of ramps, then it will take you longer. Personally, I learned at flat ground for that exact reason. Um, I'm pretty shit at riding ramps. Uh, I got 180s flat ground pretty dialed. But if I try to do a 180 out of the quarter pipe, like right now, I probably get it one in five tries because that's how shit I am at riding ramps. So basically, um, if if you just started, um, flat ground is probably going to be less scary. If you if you're good at riding ramps and you're already comfortable in quarter pipe, go ahead and try it fly out because that's probably the easiest way to get the rotation. Uh, yeah, so. Um, Basically, all you gotta do is turn your head, your shoulders, and pretty much just pull the bike around. Um, yeah, so, what else is it? So basically, when you start off trying them, you're gonna be doing 90s and like weird carve turn hop things. Uh, that's where everyone starts off, so. Um, that's exactly what you have to do because um, you just have to keep practicing because you're not used to like the rotation and all that shit. So basically, um, just hop, turn your head uh, and shoulders. You don't have to carve a lot. Um, I mean, carving, you know, carving just makes 180s look shitter, I guess. If you carve too much, I mean, like, um, I, I've seen videos where people fucking carve 90 degrees already. And they just do a bunny hop 90 and they call that a 180 and that's fucking ugly as shit I mean when you're learning I guess do whatever you want like you're learning uh, there's no rules but um, yeah so um, other videos say that you should huck huck your 180s but you fucking you can't do that shit because they're just learning you know what I'm saying um, so just hop normally I guess um, kind of just pull it up you don't have to suck up too much um, for my first 180, I didn't huck at all, I guess. Hucking is good for when you're trying to gap stuff and 180 over stuff. So, yeah, um, personally, I started, like, I just, oh, fuck, this is fucking hard to do a how-to, man. You guys don't understand how hard it is to make a how-to video. Um, yeah, but anyway, basically, 180, all right. I'm gonna go through the fucking problems that people have with 180s. So the first problem is they 180, they say they have the full rotation but their foot comes off. No, you don't have the full rotation. You're probably fucking rotating 170. To do 180s, you have to go the whole full 180. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much just the full 180 and you get it. Um, you can't do a 170 or a 160 or something because uh, that results in either your foot coming off or uh, you just land and you stop. So that's another problem. People, they 180, they land and they stop. That's the same deal. Uh, they're not rotating enough. So you have to rotate more and just, so it's pretty much you just have to practice more. Um, when I was learning them, something that helped me was um, in my mind, I'm teaching myself doing a 360. So, in the mindset to like kind of turn a bit more so yeah I uh, just tried that I don't know if it helped me but it, personally it helps me
me. And um, what else is there? If you 180 and then you kind of roll back, but and then you kind of just like, I don't know, like, alright. When you 180, you kind of have to land and have your weight behind you. Otherwise, you kind of just do this weird bar, going over the bar thing, and then you just kind of jump off your bike. So you pretty much just lean back more. And yeah, uh, what else? Uh, when people, uh, shut the fuck up! Yeah, uh, okay, another one. Uh, you 180 and then fucking lose control and shit um, that's because when you land you, you have your bars turned so when you 180 when you yeah when you 180 you should have your bars straight when you land so it doesn't make you like fucking lose control and shit um, also when you, you're starting off basically you want to know which direction you turn um, the usual the right foot forward spins to the left left foot forward spins to the right So those are pretty much the basics of the 180 and now I'll try to teach you how to dial it in. Dial 180s in. So after you get 180s pretty consistent, uh, what you should start doing is trying them over a line and clearing the line. So or put a stick on the ground and try to do it over that or off a curb. So basically what that does is it prepares you to start doing them off like stair sets because yeah um what else what else so over a line with a stick uh, that basically that helps you with timing and that kind of stuff um basically with every trick you learn try it over a line onto a curb off a curb and then then that's when you can take it off stair sets and yeah um so pretty much when you actually have 180s, the hardest part of, of doing it is the fakie and even I'm still shit at that, I fucking suck at them, especially going fast so I have no tips for that but uh, just practice. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it, so pretty much you just have to turn your head a lot, pretend you're doing a 360 when you're learning them. Um, moderate speed helps. I mean, you can you can 180 with like practically no speed at all. Like, like right now, I'm pretty much stationary, and then yeah. like yeah. I mean, um, moderate speed. Um, what else is there to talk about? All right, yeah. So most of you will learn the 180. The two tire hop, or like something like that. Um, that's bad technique. Pretty much, you have to learn it the proper bunny hop way, which is the front and then back end. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to 180 on top of stuff and over stuff. And um, I guess that's it. I have no idea what else to say about the 180. It's just pretty much hop and turn your head. And then after after you learn it, you can like 180 out of grinds and stuff so yeah i don't know if this video will help you at all but hopefully it did